Should I do this? Should I, for the rest of the video, should I put a mustache and a wig on? Ah, uh, yes, please. I have wigs. Sam, did I ruin did I ruin your night? No. By by bringing this up at on Thursday at seven twenty. Not, dude. This okay. is easy. Severe just worries too much. <laughs> it's like what? Responsible <laughs> and a good engineer. <laughs> These quotes. I I agree mostly with it, except these quotes. <laughs> a lot of air quotes he's flying he's around right now. Quotes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, cool. It's uh, fine. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. It's terrifying. That is, fine. Those are the famous last words in any field. It'll be fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. We have a list. This is more we have a plan. This is what game development is like. The exactly. game is broken 95% <laughs> of the time. I mean, we're changing yes. stuff all the time. The game is constantly broken, right? So you're getting a more authentic game development experience <laughs> by experiencing a more broken This is the free range game yeah. development experience? Yeah, yeah. Do okay. you know it's real when there's a, a whiteboard checklist and a whiteboard timeline? That's when you know. That's when you know decisions have been made. 7.30 p.m. on Thursday before <laughs> experimental whiteboard timeline. Sorry, awesome. guys. Nice. I hope I'm in the shot. Last week was crazy. It was. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that crazy for me, actually. Oh, well, it kind of was, but it was way crazier for the engineers. I yes. tweeted uh, at some point, I just compared them to the Starship Troopers, and they were just, they were just I eliminating like all of the bugs. They were just crushing all the bugs. Oh, God! Okay, yeah. so. What happened last week? We we're, we have a new week in our schedule. Yes. So we have we have a new week in our schedule. Mm -hmm. It's called Bug Fix Week, and uh, the whole purpose of that week is to do no feature development whatsoever, right? And to actually just do a thorough QA pass, um, test pass on the build that we have. Yes. And fix any issues that come up. So we spent an entire week on that, which is great because not only do we have two more engineers in the house. Yes. Uh, since our last couple of releases, so Sam and Elijah are here, so our, our bug fixing power has increased. Um, but we also have dedicated time to actually look at the issues, validate them, fix them, test them again, and not just fix stuff and hope it's in because we're rushing right. to get a build out the door. And so we are working with a wonderful external test team in Canada. And so they get a build each day and they spent the morning looking at things, um, we give them a list of all the different things we've either implemented in the build or fixed since the last time and they go through and verify and then file bug reports and we have this sort of daily cycle. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really action packed and fast because in the morning we come in, there's all these new bugs, we make some decisions on what's going in the release, what's not, who's going to fix it, who's going to work on it. Sorry about that. They're some, just, they're doing some work over there. It's, it's fine. There's ships over there. It's cool. Um, so we get in the morning, we figure out who's doing what and when, and then everyone kind of breaks out to their machines for the day and just furious typing and bug fixing. And yes. will you jump on with me and validate this fix? So a lot of sort of daily excitement. Uh, and then sort of towards the end of the week, we fix a bunch of things and then we verify it and make sure that all the fixes are in and things are working well in multiplayer and the build is stable. Spend some time fixing some of the more gross crashes yeah great. some of the egregious issues yes that, so we sort of run into this issue sometimes where mm -hmm. we're so focused on getting the stuff that we want to get done that we you know we lose some of some stability yeah. in the game yeah and so it, it seemed like this week was a jump forward ahead of all those issues plus any of the issues that were coming during this next update let's go back inside now i we've wasted enough time out here this is it's nice. It's finally cooled down. There's a nice breeze. The air quality has improved. Is it? Has it? We should just work outside for the rest of the week. Let's bring our... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I'll bring my PC out here. There you go. We'll just laptop. <laughs> we'll be fine. Oh, okay. I'm the only one with a laptop. I will yes. come work outside. <laughs> okay, so now if you heard sounds earlier, it's these guys. Those guys over there doing work, as they say. As the kids say these days.
going to go creep on Riley now. Hey. What, 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 are you, what are you doing in here? I'm working. It sounds like you're just making noises. That's pretty much my job. <laughs> I should introduce myself, right? You should. This, this, you probably should, yes. That's, that's your job to tell me, though. Um, I am Riley. I am the sound designer. Yes. Among other things. But yeah, sound design. The first thing I want to ask you about, hold on, make sure. This is, this is why I'm, yeah, okay, there we go. We're good. Now we're in focus. Oh, I wasn't in focus before. You, oh. You were in focus. It just wasn't perfectly sharp. Mm. So now your intro is going to be a little out of focus, and then I'm going to jump cut past it. And then yeah. it's going to be in focus. But no one will know. As they learn who I am, I come in focus. You've been sort of in your little cave here working on getting wise integrated for a while. Yes. Yes. And the first thing I should say is, what is wise? Yes. So, okay, you do that. I won't say anything. Oh, well, <laughs> wise uh, is a audio engine. Yes. So there are some proprietary audio engines that a lot of people, like a lot of companies use. There's also like wise or FMOD that are really popular now. Mm -hmm. And there's Unreal Audio, which is really solid, but it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that can make really cool dynamic sound. And they can't really make it the authoring story is a little bit harder. When you when you say authoring, that's like you sort of creating circumstances that trigger sounds? Yes. So it's not like I'm not creating sound effects in wise. Right. It's when I however I implement them, I can actually implement them rather than like, oh, this event happens, play this sound. I can right. actually start saying, Oh, is this thing on dirt or uh grass or whatever? Like Got play it. something different or like where is the character located in the world? So, like, are they in a cave? Are they, like, up next to their base? Right. Are, is there a friend next to them? So we can actually start feeding that all that information in to Wise and then having a dynamic change. And so, like, our music system was the first thing that get that pass and I'm kind of going through and updating audio as I see fit. Right. Okay, so, yeah, this is, uh, I guess, my test world. So I kind of have a couple things, but it's mainly just kind of help me mark like distance attenuation so like I can place an object well there's a thing up here but yeah uh thing in the center there and actually run around it and see like how far away the fall off is and I can I can tune a graph later and like really see like okay this thing sounds like this but um I guess I mainly use this to test um like my physics events in the game so pretty much everything has like a, a sound effect so like um if I if I wanted to drop uh, a piece of combat compound, I can like see. Oh, okay, that's what it sounds like if you drop it at ten meters. Oh, cool. And then, okay, what does it sound like at twenty meters? And it's like, oh, okay, that's the harder impact. It just it's a way for me to kind of have a yardstick and figure out what the true distance is. Cool. And what's that big other area over there? This the colored blocks. The color thing I haven't actually set up, it's it's meant to be like a little stripey room. Um, so ideally each thing would be a different uh, surface type. So like oh. I can I can test like, oh, this is, I'm running on, on dirt. Like I have compound here. What does it sound like when it drops on grass? Okay, so you have the, the world fired up right now. Little helpful things um, that aren't critical are like, so because of Ys, we can actually feed um, basically these parameters and basically just numbers into, into the system to tell it to like, pitch things or change volume or change assets that play. Got it. And one of them is uh, these generators. They don't really sound any different, but it seems like you're kind of just chugging along. But let's say you have it in a slot and you're running around. You don't need to look to see actually how much is left or just all of a sudden it turns off. So right now it was just, or in the previous, it was just a single loop that would play and then turn oh, okay. off. It was just like a sound. Like... And now it, it actually slows down as it nears empty. Oh, cool. And then you hear it kind of churning down and then it stops. Cool. With the rovers, you actually now have the wheelbase um, of like the tires and then that of the, uh, the actual engine separated. So they used to play together. So no matter what, if you like jumped out like this, you'd hear the engine. Now it's like, the engine's off. Oh, cool. You just get tire noise. You just hear road noise, not like the little brrrr on the engine. That's yeah, cool. and then same thing with like, if you go off a sick ramp like this. <laughs> oh, it, cool. It over revs. 
in, in the old game, it would just like still like rev the engine, or if it like was falling, you'd hear the engine and the tire sound and it drove me nuts. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, okay, if if you're actually dragging one, you're not hearing the engine. You're hearing oh, you're just hearing the crushing of like the rocks underneath the tire. Exactly. And uh, what's cool, you can actually tell now when it turns off. Oh, and, and cool, you're not hearing does. engine anymore. So, little feedback thing for everyone. This is one of the other things that you sort of made to work dynamically underground. Yeah, so basically everything gets gets reverb now. Um, music actually does a little bit, and music changes, and then... Oh, cool. Nice. And uh, I guess the final one, the coolest one right now, the most uh, fleshed out one so far, is, is music. So if I am running around, let me sprint for a while. You'll actually start to hear the music change over time. Uh, and, and it does it a couple ways. The most obvious way is when the oxygen goes down, the music starts distorting. There you go, we're getting low now. Oh, cool. This is like a whole different layer that actually gets much louder. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to probably tune it a bit. But yeah, so you actually start hearing more appropriate kind of sound effects for when like you're actually dying. You don't want to hear cheerful music. You want to kind of hear, hear something that fits with it. Now I'm actually done bothering you. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for the demo. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Are you ready to reveal these wigs right now? Are you okay with that? 